Well, hello, folks out there in YouTube land. Got a big show lined up for you. Let's get right on into it. All right, the Vols basketball. Man, they barely survived against Maryland. It was a rough game. Good grief. I don't know if you watched that game last night or not, but geez, it was rough. The Terrapins, they couldn't hit anything. I mean, I've never seen such atrocious three-point shooting in my life. I'm telling you, the Maryland uh, players, they must have been like this when they saw that three-point line. All about little fire, Scarecrow. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, they looked scared to death. They couldn't hit anything. It was ridiculous. We didn't shoot a whole lot better. If you literally made a shot, you beat them. It was awful. Let me show you these numbers. I don't think I've ever seen a team shoot less than 10% from the three-point line. And we were, you know, we didn't play great. We did shoot 33% from the three-point line, which is just barely acceptable. They shot 8.3%, two for 24. As a matter of fact, they almost got more points from the foul line shooting three-point uh, shots because we fouled them a couple times on that, which was just those little ticky-tack. If you touch somebody when they're shooting a three, all they have to do is go, and fall, and they're going to get a call every time. And one other thing, they called that a neutral site. If that's a neutral site, I'd hate to see what a home court advantage would be for Maryland because it was so loud in there every time they did anything. I mean, if they hit a free throw, that place freaked out. We had maybe 5% of the crowd. It was up New York. So, of course, Maryland being so close by, they loaded the place up, and we didn't have much of anybody there cheering for us and that made a big difference because you could really feel it in the second half when they got some momentum going and the crowd was backing them 100 percent it really it makes a huge difference in basketball because momentum is so critical so every time i heard them say this is a neutral site i was like oh, you can't be serious man you cannot be serious exactly you can't be serious just quit saying that because it's not a neutral site it was totally home court advantage for maryland as we look at our box score here I'm telling you, we struggled. Phillips was one for 10, our five-star guy. He hit some free throws. That was about it. And he got some rebounds. But I'm telling you, he shot very poorly for him. And then our forward, Olivier, or however you pronounce his first. I can't do his last name so well. But he was three for 13. He usually shoots a lot better than that. Uh, once Daly Plavix, he was one for two. <laughs> he didn't shoot very much. Viscovi was terrible. Uh, two for 11. He just played terrible. One for nine from three-point land. That's just atrocious. Key is a pretty good scorer, and he played okay. He was two for four from three, so that helped a bunch. He was only three for six from the free throw line. We shot our free throws atrociously. It was awful. We were 11 for 21. You never see a Rick Barnes team shooting 50% from the charity strike. Then we get into their horrible shooting. The Scott kid was 0 for 6 from three-point. Young was 1 for 7. Hart was 1 for 6. Carey was 0 for 4. And they had another guy that missed one. I mean, it was just horrible. They shot better on their two-point shots. They shot okay from there. But it was still terrible, 32%, just atrocious. Their first half was the worst half of shooting I've ever seen. Now, part of that, both teams played great defense. I will give them that, but still 8%. And... Uh, I don't think defense had anything to do with the Vol shooting about 50% from the free throw strike. So it was just a bad game to watch. It was ugly the whole time. We were up by 21 at one time in the first half, and you could just feel the momentum uh, going towards Maryland in the second half, and I was getting angry. <laughs> I was like, you've got to be kidding me. I was using some profanity. I'll thank you not to use that kind of language in my presence. Yep, yep. I couldn't help it. I mean, we were up 21, and then all of a sudden we're up by three. It just got out of hand, and we just couldn't do anything right in the second half. And we're missing two critical players. We're missing the big guy, Adu, who's uh, got some flu-like symptoms. And then we're also missing uh, Triple J, uh, Josiah Jordan-James. And look, he's an important player. When he's playing well, our team is extremely hard to beat. If you'll remember last year when he got hot in the SEC Conference uh, Tournament, we were unbeatable. When he's hitting his three points, because first of all, he rebounds great. He shoots his free throws. He's just a quality player all the way around, and, he's, he, and he brings a calmness to the team because he's just been through it all. And when he hits his three-point shots, Tennessee's going to beat anybody they go up against. Now, when he doesn't hit his threes, we can get beat, as we did in the NCAA tournament because everybody missed their threes. But when he's hot, we're unbeatable. Because understand, James can create his own shot. 
you know, a lot of three-point shooters, they've got to come off screens and do all this different stuff. James can just create his own shot. He's that big and athletic. And, you know, when you're that tall, you can just shoot over people too, which he does quite well. But we're really missing his, uh, his play. And granted, they're still winning because Rick Barnes is a great coach, and I'm so glad we've got him. But uh, that was a very difficult game to watch, especially the Maryland people had to be just absolutely – beside themselves watching that game. I mean, just three-pointer after three-pointer after three-pointer, just brick, brick, brick. All they were doing, all they were doing was laying bricks. Actually, they had to bring a team of Masons in to help prepare from all the uh, brick laying that happened last night. And here they are today trying to fix um, the arena. And it, it's been very difficult because even the bricks were laid terribly last night. So they've been at it all day, and I think they're going to get it fixed. But it was a real mess there. But one positive that came out of it is we moved up to number six in the country after that win. And Maryland's number 13 in the country. They got a great defense. So, you know, the Vols are having a good season, but we're really missing some guys. So hopefully James, his knee, you know, improves. I know he's day-to-day -day right now, but, man, he's already missed five games. And uh, we could really use his uh, help in there, especially against the top teams. I mean, when we're playing these little joke teams we played last week, it doesn't matter. But you need him against these really good teams. Hopefully he'll be ready by the SEC, but, you know, I'm sure he's unbelievably frustrated. As a former Division One player myself, not being able to participate over an injury is very frustrating. I'm sure he's more than annoyed. But hopefully we'll get him back and a do back, and I think we'll be a, uh, a better team because of it. But look, you know what? They found a way to win. That's what great teams do, and maybe we've got a great team. We'll see how it plays out, but it was rough to watch last night. All right, folks, I just thought I'd cover the uh, basketball team. I haven't covered them very much, but I plan on covering them as they play more and more important games because I really enjoy watching them play. And any Rick Barnes team is well coached, so it, it's fun to watch them. I just, they didn't play well, and Maryland played worse, <laughs> but they survived. And that's what the really good teams do. They survive even when they're not playing well, and that's what they did. And minus two starters, so good for them. And if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's be able to continue to cover the Vols basketball, which I haven't done very much, but. I'd like to. Uh, could use some encouragement. Send me some likes and, and uh, subscribe if you don't mind. That would help me. Anyway, I hope you did like the content. We'll see you next time on Sports Talk Jay.